Hi, it's Jules. Sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. A lot's been going on, so I've been kind of going here and there lately. So, um, while well, I'm back, and this is my October wrap-up video, so let's get started. Well, I only read three books in October. I did start a fourth book, so I also mentioned that. So, first of all, the first book I read in October was Dragon Tears by Dean Coots. I don't have the physical copy here. Um, it's actually at my other house um, right now. So, that book you follow a lot of characters in. So, um, it's very hard to follow. And I don't know how else to, to, excuse me, sorry if my voice sounds a little off. I'm still not feeling the best. Um, so, and it's really late too. So I am am kind of tired. But anyways, in, Ding, in Dinkut's book, you follow these two cops. And you also follow um, this mother and son, and you follow somebody else and somebody else. So you follow like two, I mean, two to four parts. And at first it was confusing, but as it went on, it got better. So I can't say I did enjoy the book. I actually did enjoy the book. It, um, Yeah, it was kind of hard to read, but I didn't fully enjoy the book because it is kind of odd. There was gore that was kind of, ew, disgusting to me. But other than that, it was an okay book. So I get, gave that book, I would give that book at least three out of five stars because it was a good book. It just ain't my full cup of tea. So um, anyways, my second book I read in October was, um, Sorry, let me. Was Perfect by Natasha Friend. I don't know. Oh, it's right there. Um, this book is actually about a 13 year old girl named Isabel, and she has a disorder and she's trying to get through it. And she ends up making um, the deal with her mother, which, um, and she ends up in this therapy group trying to get better. So, um, that's probably the best simple way to explain it without spoiling it. Um, because her disorder is serious because she makes herself throw up. She'll indulge, 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 and I'll sign literally not even five minutes after she eats it all, she pukes it back up. So it's a very um, family-like or contemporary book, but it's a sad, very touching, sad, I know I said sad twice, um, and kind of heartbreaking story to read because you're hearing about this 13-year-old that has this big problem and she's making herself throw up, and it, it hurts you inside. So, um, but it's still a good read, and I still suggested um, it may make you cry. It didn't me, but it definitely touched my heart. So, definitely a good book. The next book I read in October, the third book I read, was Would You by Marcy Jacqueline. I believe I said that name right. Um, as you can tell, I don't have a physical copy. I had to take it back to the library. It was a library book. This book is about two sisters, and it goes back and forth. And the oldest sister calls her sister Bugs. Um, and it's simply a civil rivalry thing or whatever as they're growing up. And then as it goes on, the older sister ends up in an accident. So, and from there, you get an emotional family type of um, situation. 
So I would consider this a contemporary book. Um, so I would give gave that book um, four stars because it was actually an amazing storyline. I love the characters in it, and it didn't. This book did make me cry near the end of it. So, um, very heart touching book. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, with the last book I mentioned, um, Perfect, uh, I did mention that with that book, I gave that book also four stars because it is a good family oriented book. So, um, uh, the last book I read in October, well, not finished in October, but I did start in October. So, the fourth book that I started in October was Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. And I was inspired by Ellie Wadsworth to read this book. And I was kind of nervous to read it because it, I don't know, I was just, I guess I was just nervous on how it would plan out in the story and all that. Because um, what I thought um, was totally different than what it turned out to be, which to me, this is a very touching story. But I'll get more into that in my November wrap up because that's when I finish this book. So I'm um, say more in my November wrap up. So that is the last book. Um, so, uh, other than that, that would be it for my October wrap up video. Um, I will be putting up my next video shortly after this one, so expect that. And I guess that's it. So I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.